What's up everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Adobe Photoshop tutorial I'm going to show you a really easy way to create the popular YouTuber style thumbnail, Jake Paul style thumbnails, the ones with the bright backgrounds and the cutout objects and this is probably going to help you make thumbnails in general even if you don't want to take it that way. Take the most exciting screenshot of your face or whatever from your video and place it into Photoshop and I'm working in a document that is 1280 by 720. If you ever go to File, New, you can go to 1280 by 720 and create this document. So I've just got my screenshot from my video in the document. And the first thing first to making any type of YouTuber thumbnails, you have to be able to cut out or isolate your person and create outlines and things like that. So there's many ways to cut out a person, but what I'm going to do is highlight the layer and grab this tool right here called the quick selection tool. This is probably the easiest in 90% of cases for thumbnails. All you do is click and drag like a paintbrush and Photoshop will automatically select the majority of what it is you're trying to select and do a pretty good job at it as long as there's decent contrast. Now you see there's some areas where it messed up like here by my ear it grabbed a little bit too much so then you can go to the minus selection tool and paint those parts out. There, quick fix. This part here, right here in between my arm, boom, it's gone. And we have a pretty solid selection right now of me. Oop, there's a little bit there that I missed. And you can really get as perfectionist as you want on it. But now we have our cutout. So what I'm going to do is right click and layer via copy. We've basically got me on my own and then the background. And I can see even still there's some areas that I can fix, which I'm just going to go in very crudely and delete with something like the polygonal lasso tool or just the eraser would do fine. But I'm going to delete that. Now that I have me isolated, I can do anything that I want to the background to make it stand out. So I can go to layer, new, fill layer, create a solid color and create a bright color like a bright red or blue or green so let's create a bright blue and I can even set this to different opacities like I can set this to 60 or 70 percent opacity I can set it to screen I can set it to different blending modes but also on me my layer I can hold command click on the actual thumbnail of this layer and get my selection again what this is going to allow me to do is on any new layers I can have my selection active and I can right click and create a stroke. So let's create a white stroke that starts at, you can do center, outside, or inside. So I'll do center, a uh, five pixel stroke. Cool, now we've got a white stroke around me. It's already looking like a YouTuber thumbnail. From this point on, you can add whatever you want. You can spice it up with emojis on the side if you want or different images or screenshots and uh, I don't like this white coming at the bottom here so I'm going to just grab and delete that out. Uh, you can add outer glows. So one thing you can do is right click on the actual cutout layer, select blending option and you can add an outer glow. That's a cool little trick there. You can lower the opacity of that. You can change the color, the blending mode, and all that. So there's many different variations that you can play around with and do all this crazy stuff with. But basically, the number one thing you have to learn is how to actually cut out an object. So in 99% of cases, the quick selection tool will do you just fine for a thumbnail. It's not the cleanest. It's a little bit more messy. But if you want to learn how to cut things out super precisely, there's many other tutorials on my channel and others where you can go through with the pen tool and really just trace exactly what you want one by one if it's pretty complicated. You can even cut things out like hair. I'll link you to some good tutorials more about cutting stuff out. But just with that knowledge, you should be pretty well prepared to create the majority of the thumbnails that you might want to be replicating. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like below. Consider subscribing if you're not yet for daily creative videos. You can check out all my other Photoshop tutorials on my channel. And go follow me on social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, at Justin Show if you want to keep in touch with me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.